Right now at 11, a renewed push to allow drug users to safely consume drugs in two Bay Area cities. The bill sitting on Governor Newsom's desk right now. The local leaders who say this will help the drug crisis and the calls from opponents for Governor Newsom to veto the bill. Thanks for joining us for our midday newscast. I'm Marcus Washington. And I'm Chris Sanchez. Laura Garcia has the week off. Now, this is a controversial bill that is now one step away from becoming law. SB 57 legalizes overdose protection programs or safe consumption sites. It is waiting for the decision from Governor Newsom. NBC Bay Area's Ginger Conajera Saab joins us from the newsroom with more details on this push. Bay Area leaders say Ginger has to happen before time runs out. That's right, Marcus and Chris, the governor has 12 days to sign SB 57 into law from when it gets to his desk. And while the bill has passed legislative hurdles, it still remains a controversial one and the governor's signature is not guaranteed. And that's why state and local leaders are making their push now. State Senator Scott Weiner, Assembly Member Matt Haney, Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf, and other local leaders gathered to send a strong message to the governor. The bill needs your signature now. SB 57 legalizes safe injection sites, providing a sterile, a sterile place with needles and a safe place for consumption. It makes the case that these sites will save lives, prevent the dangerous proliferation of needles and drug use on city streets, and that it will eventually save public money. If signed into law, the pilot sites will run for five years. That'll be through January 2028 in San Francisco, Oakland, and Los Angeles. That drug use, that addiction are a health issue, not a criminal issue. We know that. And yet there's always this knee-jerk reaction of, no, 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 we can't quote, enable people to use drugs. These are pilot sites. This will allow us to try something, study it, and to test it before it is expanded to other jurisdictions. Opponents to the bill say the sites enable dangerous and illegal activity right on those city streets. Now, this measure is proposing addiction maintenance, they say, while the focus should be on addiction recovery. It is also worth noting a similar bill made it to then-Governor Jerry Brown's desk in 2018, where it was vetoed. We will soon see what this governor will do. Marcus and Chris.